Okay, all right, we're back, we're back. Um, we are here with the KOFXS uh, lessons, uh, Connect One lessons. Um, I wanted to go over, uh, just do a recap a little bit and also bring in a comparison. Remember we went over the FIB speed resistance fan and uh, this was a uh, this was a tool given to you by the RSAI blueprint strategy. It's also it goes further into detail, uh, further into how it's used, what its rating power is uh, when it comes to how it compares to the rest of the uh, hundreds of uh, indicators out there. Um, the, the RSAI blueprint strategy does give you um, a good um, a rating. Uh, so I just wanted to go over that um, and then I'm also going to compare it uh, with the linear regression, falsely called linear regression. It's actually a regression trend tool. Uh, I don't know where um, uh, people have gotten the name linear regression from. But anyway, uh, be, that, be that as it may, this is the tool. Uh, we're going to compare it. We're going to show um, uh, YouTube, I'm going to show the world, you guys, I put it. Uh, why the fib speed resistance fan kicks the regression uh, tools ass. So we'll be right back after this. Are you a trader? Then you'll love Connect One Forex Signals, a leading signal service dedicated to providing the best trading entries and exits for traders. We have the highest reward to risk ratio in the industry and our pips gain is as high as 1200 pips in one trade. You don't need to do anything, just set it and forget it. We'll do all the heavy lifting. We also teach how to trade successfully using what we call the RSAI blueprint strategy. Our strategy is based on harmonics, but we also use them in other ways besides just buying and selling to target. Receive signals, learn new techniques and innovative trading systems to bring you to a new level of training and profitability with Connect One Forex Signals. Sign up for a free trial at connect-one-forex-signals.multiscreensite.com or join our Telegram group at t.me forward slash K-O-F-X-S group for group chat. All right. Welcome back. So the FIB Speed Resistance Fan uh, is a tool that I had given you guys going back a couple of a uh, couple of months. Um, also, I have this tool within the RSI Blueprint Strategy course, uh, where it gives you the ratings and other information regarding the fan. So, but I did give you guys just an idea uh, on how to how to use the fan, uh, where to find it. Um, I also have it as part of my favorites that is at the top here. As you see right there, it is sitting at this point. Fib speed resistance fan. So we're going to add the other tool. I'm going to compare this uh, with, um, I grab it over here with the, it's under the trend line. I forget what this is called, but this section is called, but we're going to make it a favorite for now uh, so that it can appear right uh, in this section here. Okay. So uh, we've got GBP, JPY, and we're going to use this as an example of information uh, that uh, one tool gives you and the other we're going to kind of compare uh, those two. Um, let's see, we can start with, let's just grab the regression. So we're going to go here and we're going to connect the highest point here. All right, so this gives us a baseline here. I see a baseline. Uh, and I see two limits, an upper and a lower limit. And I see this gives me the range, okay? Which is good because at this point when it breaks it, uh, this trend starts to break down. Fantastic, which I think that's a good thing. So, but now we're gonna take this, we're gonna remove this, And we're going to put in, in its place at the exact same points, the FIB span, the uh, uh, FIB speed resistance fan. It's a tongue twister for me. It really is. I say it. What did I say? The SPIB, the SPIB fan. No, there's something that's a FIB 
something. It's a tongue twister, really. Um, and I want you to notice, remember, they're the same points. Okay, we can overlap it. We'll overlap it later. But see, I want you to see here, you have the center line, which is at zero. We get a nice little grid here. So you can see um, the uh, areas of retracement. Uh, this came down to the 550%. Retracement came back up. Uh, you can also see once it broke that same area, that same line was the lower limit line of the regression. It's the exact same point, which is the point that I gave that I gave you on the lesson and in the course. Okay, which is the 382. Now, this 382 isn't perfect. It's just a how do you say it? It's just a marker. It has a higher probability. So typically when a candle closes outside of the 382, uh, that is a point where you either want to get out of a trade or maybe open a short position. Okay. And you would have done okay right, right here. Okay. Uh, and then this came back in. Um, this has given me now. Also notice that this gives you a, a whole lot more information. Now, with our RSAI strategy, we have uh, target points, okay, which you can use also when you're doing things, trading things like stocks. Let's turn on the auto. Now, I'm going to look for my point of where I expect price to reach a, uh, a certain uh, level, which I think that was, oh, that was on the uh, GBPCA, it was the other one. Um, my target for I said GBP JPY 155819 as a target. Uh, I don't think that this is officially my target, but we're just using this as an example. Um, so because it is blue, so um, now see how the 382 lines up with this point. And we look down, we got a February 1st date. We have the 50 at the February 1st, 2022, and the 618, which is quite rare being in the 618 hitting here, the 618, uh, February 2nd, 2022. Okay, the latest pretty much here, the soonest possibly in the middle of 382 and 25. That are reaching that 31st to the latest possible to February 22nd, uh, February 2nd, 2022. So, this is good if you want to play options. So, you want to get an idea for when in time and price above 155.819, February 1st, or whatever that gives you whatever date you can find in this line, in this intersection. Now, notice something. Let's come back down. We'll go back down here and let's bring out that, let's bring out that linear regression tool. Plot my point, exact same places as the FIB, the FIB fan, we get the baseline, okay? Now, Once I move, see if I can move, even if I did this, it doesn't really matter. Now, regardless of where I put my point, now I can, this point and then changes, okay? Uh, I want to take this off. Now, I want to take this point and try to bring it down here. I can't do that. I cannot move this. So once it gets out here, I'm not, I can't measure anymore because sometimes what? It's going to do this. It's going to move along here. Price will then do this or this. Okay. One of these lines. 
the regression tool can't reach down. It's going to be difficult. I'm going to have to move. Let's see if I can move this. It can't really do that. I mean, it's moving, but it's going to be a little difficult for me to. I don't get a projection. I can't get a uh, projection. It becomes quite difficult as the trend becomes more uh, flat. You know, um, it's, it's going to be a little more difficult. The highest point is still here, up here. Okay. And that's going to be my best plot. This doesn't have any other uh, points outside of that. So, but the Fibs speed fan, the tongue twister, um, I get a little more information. Okay pertinent information I can see how fast it's moving okay I can see a little more further out you know especially when I'm have clouds up here and I have different resistance areas you know I can be I can think more I can see more ahead of myself as far as the trade is concerned um, it's just gonna give me more information it's just that simple I don't have to keep changing the points around necessarily until unless this went up higher I, I don't have to try to move the tool around you know you're just going to be uh much better off um when you're using a fib speed fan and besides you have the exact same points as you can see if you overlap it i'll do it again you still get your regression information see it's exactly on the same line the 382, which is a line we're going to use a pretty much determination. Sometimes a trade will stay inside of this and continue to go higher. With this, you're going to miss that. But with this, you're going to see this happening. You're going to see this dance on the line. You can use a different example. I can show you. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to find one. Oh, wait a minute. Sorry. Right, let's close this. See? Now with this, let's say I put this down here. Uh, my highest point. Highest point. A little bit different information. You can't stretch this out unless you have to go get another tool. Maybe you can get a line. And draw a line. So you have to get two tools. Um, you already saw this close back inside the 382. Or you saw that it, um, or you, it the 50, back inside the 50. Uh, and you also saw that it didn't touch the 61. It bounced off the 618. Yeah, bounce off is good. You're already buying in here. But you won't see the 618 without this, with, with, without the fib speed. Uh, so, what I'm trying to basically tell you guys is with the RSAI blueprint strategy, even if you're using a tool such as the linear trend or falsely called linear regression, which is, sounds ridiculous, um, actually regression trend or regression tool, um, you don't lose anything when you're working with the RSAI strategy. When you're working with uh, our, what we have set up and uh, the tools that me and my students use, you're not missing out. You don't have to go backwards and go to other lessons that have failed you in the past. You have more support and you're better off. Thank you.